Hey guys, what's going on? How are you? It's nice to see each other's face. We're gonna be talking about live looping today, so it's a very interesting topic. But first, let's run the intro. <laughs> Welcome everybody! Five common mistakes when live looping. The first mistake is setting up your output level lower or higher from your playing level. The whole point of live looping is so you keep hearing what you were recording. I've seen this a lot. There's a musician recording a couple measures with the guitar and when they click that button to play back, it drops the level dramatically. If you hear it lower, it's just very noticeable. It sounds weak, it doesn't sound good. And if your level is higher, it also doesn't sound good. Plus, it gets too noisy too quickly. So you want it to be at the exact level as your playing level. The second common mistake when live looping is not to hit the record slash playback button on time. When you're recording and you're getting ready to hit that button to playback or overdub, and you hit it too early or too late, it's gonna sound terrible. And no one wants to hear that on repeat. Another mistake is to record your guitar with the wrong EQ. If you record a couple guitar parts and your guitar was equalized with so much bass and then you record a bass part, then you're gonna end up with too much bass and that's not gonna sound good. Here's another common mistake when live looping. If you have a loop station that has a mic input, use it. I see many performers never touch that just loop the guitar, you're missing out. Because there's so many things you can be recording. You don't need to be a singer. You can loop percussion, like a shaker, bird sounds. There's so many things you can record. I would use that microphone if I was you. And the last mistake to avoid when live looping, it's not ending your loop smoothly. When you're playing a gig and then you finish the last chord, you should be hitting that button right then or before. But if you finish your song and you're playing, and you don't hit that button, you let it play a little more and then hit it, it's gonna sound like you're playing to tracks, which some people do, it's okay. You technically are playing to tracks, but tracks you built in the spot because you're a live looper, which makes you cooler. I hope you find this video useful. You know I make all kinds of video content like vlogs, tutorials, live performances. So I would like to know what is your favorite kind. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, the choice is yours. It is time for me to grab some coffee and time for you to grab your loop station and start practicing. I'll see you all very soon. Namaste.